Hello YouTube and welcome to our 106th, I believe, tutorial for land. And in this tutorial what we're going to do is make, pretty much fix some bugs. It shouldn't take long on each section, but the video will be split up for each section, kind of. So the first one we're going to fix is the door arrows. So if we go to, up here just type 2 for arrows, double click one. This one has a bounce on it which makes it go down and then back up. However, if we were to move this position or move it anywhere, it would mess up because it's scripted and they're not very good. So what we're going to do is remove the item bounce from here and make sure it's removed from everything else too. So, prefabs, door arrow, that's removed. So we're going to go back to our character and drag our door arrow out, just like that. And I'm going to go into my side view and drag it up. Seems about right. So I'm going to create an empty game object for it and we'll just literally put it there and we'll call this one arrow yeah that'll do and we'll drag dot arrow inside and level it out and then make sure it's actually on the floor perfect so now it looks like an actual arrow on the floor as you can see so we're going to click door arrow not the other one make sure it's door arrow and we'll go window animation really quick animation, we're just going to zoom out so we can see 0, zero 30 click add component and we'll go to animations what the add component would do is if when we save our animation you'll see it'll add an animation component to it so in here we'll call it door bounce Yeah. so there you go, it plays automatically however what one thing I want to do is before we actually create it we're going to go into door bounce and change the wrap mode to loop what loop will do is just make it once it finishes it'll make it bounce again so the one thing we have got to look for is that it's seamless and you'll see what I mean by seamless in a minute because I'll show you so I'm going to go to zero and at zero I'll just move it the tiniest bit then at 130 just because I know that's the speed I want I'm going to move it up a little bit that just moved back down Oh, I must have gone frame head. <laughs> well, we're going to go to three. In fact, I'll show you what the seamless is. This is seamless. This is not seamless. So as you play it, it just skips down. It just looks horrid and horrible. So if we go to three, after you see that all look horrible, we're going to move it back down to its original location, which is this one. Like so. So if we run it now, it bounces up, it slowly comes back down, then it carries on. So if I hit this, you'd not really be able to tell when it was starting and stopping because it's just seamless. That's what seamless is. You can't see the seams between it. Now, the reason I told you seamless a while ago was for our tiles, but it turns out if you zoom out, you can actually see the seams in it, which isn't very good. But, yeah, so that's our door animation. The reason we put it in an arrow is because then we can move it across here and then up. And if we go back to animation and click play, it bounces where it is. So we can move it just like we learned when we did the animations. So now what we can do is attach this to our arrow prefab and replace anyway. Delete this. In fact, delete that one then. And replace it again. And let's see if it's worked. So if we go over to this one here. Wood cabin interior, door arrow. See, that one's worked perfectly. So if we click, there's range switch, why is there two of them? Hmm. Delete the one on the outer one then. Don't delete the one on the actual one because otherwise it might mess up. So we go to wood cabin interior and just delete range switch. And we'll make sure our YouTube space station hasn't done it either. No, nope, it's just that one. So now if we just duplicate this for time saving and drag it all the way over here and when I can get it and drag it here and here so now if I click play and have a look at it, it should be bouncing perfect, we've got a bouncing arrow so that's this one done um, we have a slight error bouncing we can get rid of that too we don't want that to bounce no more anyway so in this next part we are going to fix it 
Um, a small glitch, we can delete that arrow now. That one. We, we, what we, our error is, is if we get our vehicle, our Humvee vehicle, or any vehicle, put it in our character. There's literally a bee flying around my window. That's not good. But yeah, we're going to get in this car. You'll see that we will get flooded with errors. As you can see, no reference exception. We can drive and everything, but and we can even get out, it works fine. Our error is this one here. It's saying no reference exception. And what this error means is basically it cannot find whatever you are referencing. Null means nothing. Reference means um that's such Say pointing towards something basically, and exceptions just basically a fancy word for error. So no reference exception cannot find whatever you specified. So we go to this. It's line 24. So line 24 is the range. So game object dot find character. When we get in a car, our character, I believe, is renamed. I'm not sure. We have to try that. I don't remember making it rename it, but hey. What did we call it? Ah, we hide the character, that's it. So, instead of that, what we're going to type up here is var, in fact we'll make it a private var, character, and this will be a transform. And below this we'll type function start, and we'll type character, equals game object dot find character dot transform because it's a transform. So if we stick character here instead it should stop the error. So we go and find our shit car, get in it. No more errors. Perfect. Works like a charm. Even though the character's hidden, we just get back out at the instant start working again. So, can we go and activate the mission? Five apples, let's see. And... Q. Begin. Works perfect. So that's this error fix, just a small tweak. So, I'll be back in a minute to show you the next error. So YouTube, we're at our final part in order what we need to fix. So, I'm just going to quickly show you what we need to fix. So, we can walk up. And we've got our... our slash attack of a sword which we need to put back in but we haven't got a time yet which for one we can't reach at all until we jump and it's still not even promised to get it as you can see it's not very easy trying to get it even though I'm nowhere near it that was a... but still yes you can see you can't there only just got it so we need to move that and make it bounce like usual but then if we sit here and fire as you can see, it doesn't fully work. It because it's so big and long, it crashes all and messes up, which isn't good. So we're going to fix those two. So we'll start by resizing the um, ice ball, which we need to change. Um, so if we find the prefab for it, which can't find the select. There we go, ice ball prefab. We can get the ice ball and stick it here. So we can just look at it. And as you can see, it's kind of obstructed. So we just stretch it out a little bit, but then we'll just make it smaller. See, it's still got its same size, but now it will actually fit. So we can stick that back in, or you could just move your spawn point out up to you. So we can get rid of that. So the final part is to make it bounce, but this won't work with the door bounce because if we stick it on, you'll see it looks normal, but if we go to window then animation, you'll see that the zero axis of this is all the way at the bottom. And because of its size, the midway is only a fraction of where it should be, which isn't right. So an easy way to fix this is to duplicate door bounce, and we'll call this item bounce pretty same and we're gonna stick this on a ice ball as we had to get rid of that and we'll stick item bounce on and make it one ooh no not twenty one item bounce so if we select item bounce now 
we can see it starts at zero which is not what we want so we'll lift it up and don't forget because it's in a parent it shouldn't matter go to midway lift it up roughly enough and bring it back down at the correct place so the Y position double tap and Y position so let's see what it looks like oh dear it went a bit far that time so on this last bit it goes a bit bit farther than it should so why is it doing this it will be one of these annoying little things it always is so let's have a look so what we're going to do is we'll delete this keyframe here and we'll remake this bit here so we'll roughly put it back normal so go to its normal position go to this keyframe move it up a bit and paste it in so let's try again up and down up and down perfect so that one now works we can attach the item bounce to any other object we put in but we can also put the actual ones where they should be so let's just move that down for now because that's clearly messing up I want it there now let's try it see if it works oh, come over here is it bouncing perfect so now that's bouncing and when we fire also I think it's because these aren't triggers so let's make it a trigger because everything else is a trigger so this should be two so if we go to prefabs and weapons ice ball and trigger now we should have none of them issues it should just fly straight forward ah oh, come on seriously because we can hit them they're triggers but if we hit these there we go much better so that works perfect it's going under the map but that's just a small spawn issue glitch thank you for watching i hope you like this quick short tutorial it just had some bugs what needed to be fixed